Uh, this device, very useful electrical device, is called a digital multimeter, and the multi means we can use it for different kinds of electrical measurements depending on how you turn the switches. Looking at the dial of the multimeter, there are actually three different regions on the dial, and you have to decide what it is you're going to measure. So if you look on the lower left portion down here, it's a little hard to see, but it's in green, and there's a symbol there for the Greek letter omega. This is the ohms part of the dial, which shows electric resistance. We're not going to be using that part of the measurement for today. If you look over on the right hand side here, there's another section also in green labeled A for amps. That's how much current is passing through the electric circuit. And again, we're not going to be using that today. Instead, we're using voltage, which is this part of the dial. And up near the top, it has the letter V for volts. And there are two different symbols. The V with the squiggly line next to it is alternating current, or AC volts. The part of voltage over here with the two straight lines, that's direct current or DC volts. And for our supplies like the photovoltaic panel, like the batteries, we'll be using with DC volts. So that's this range over here, starting as high as 500 volts and working all the way down to 200 millivolts. So let's talk about making the connections first. There are some electric lead wires that come with the digital voltmeter and we have to decide how to connect them up. There are red and black leads but there are three plugs along the bottom or terminals to plug into. So what we want to do is select the correct two terminals. This one over here labeled COM for common, that's the terminal that we're going to plug the black connector lead into. So just push in the large end of the black connector lead into that position. Over here there are two different openings that are labeled in red. One of them is for amps, we're not doing amps today, but the other one says volts, ohms, or milliamps. So if it's volts, we're going to plug in the red lead to the voltage connection there. Now we're ready to start taking measurements. Now that we have our leads connected, we're ready to measure voltages and we're going to hook up to a photovoltaic panel today. So because the voltages are fairly low, we're going to switch the meter to 20 volts. That lets us read any voltage from 0 to 20 volts. Using the red terminal and the connector from the photovoltaic panel, we're going to clamp them together. Same thing for the black. And then as soon as we get connected, if we have bright sunlight, we should start reading voltage here. Currently we're reading 2.25 volts DC from our panel. Now be careful when you're using these connections, try not to let any bare part of one wire touch the other wire, because that cancels out the electricity from the panel and makes what we call a short circuit. That is, the electricity goes through, through the shortest path back to the panel, and the voltage will either be very low or zero. That's an incorrect reading, so don't touch the wires. Also, if you get a negative reading on the meter for volts, it means you have your two wires switched. Just switch the two leads, and you'll see that it's working properly. So right now, I'm measuring about 2.23 volts, and then when you're all done with your meter, make sure you turn it back to the off position, and you'll spare the battery in the digital voltmeter. Now that we've learned how to use the digital voltmeter, you're ready to start measuring your voltages. Good luck with your project. Thank you.